if you have spent a bunch of your hard-earned money on longevity supplements and just to be disappointed by the benefits, this video is for you. If you have been here for a bit, you know that I take several longevity supplements, one of them being NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, which I always say is my desert island supplement. NMN is a form of vitamin B3 and a direct precursor to a very important molecule we all have in our bodies called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, which unfortunately, as with so many things, declines rapidly as we age. Now, I have made several videos on my experience with NMN, in which I talk about the benefits I have noticed from taking the supplement. And under those videos, so many of you have told me that you too find taking NMN quite beneficial. But of course, there's always the occasional person who will tell me they have tried NMN and they didn't notice anything. Now, there could be several reasons for that. First of all, we are all different. Not only do we have different genetics, but different lifestyles and different expectations. But it could also be that the supplement this person took didn't actually contain what it claimed on the label. In fact, in 2021, the health research organization Chromadex tested 22 NMN brands, and these brands happened to be the ones with the highest market share on Amazon. And out of these 22 brands tested, only 14% had NMN content at or above label claim. 23% had NMN content just below label claim, or between 88 and 99% of label claim. 64% had NMN content below the method reporting limit or detection limit, indicating less than 1% of the claimed NMN was present. And 0% of NMN was detected in 14% of the tested products. Now, as disappointing and frankly shocking as these test results are, unfortunately, they are not an isolated incidence. In fact, just this year, February of 25, Chromodex tested products containing a cousin of NMN, nicotinamide riboside, or NR, another NAD precursor. And unfortunately, the test results were just as disappointing. Out of 39 products tested, only 13% or 5 of the 39 products tested met or exceeded the NR label claim. Another 13% contained NR within 90 to 99% of label claim. 74% or 29 of the 39 products tested had NR levels significantly below label claim with 38% having NR content well below the label claim, between 1 and 89% of label claim, 36% having less than 1% label claim NR present, and 9 of the 39 tested products had no detectable levels of NR at all. Some of the products tested were liposomal, which some companies claim to be a superior delivery method for NAD precursors. However, five of the tested products contained less than 1% of labeled NR content, and the remaining six liposomal products tested had NR content well below label claim between 1% and 89% of label claim. Now, sadly, it is not just NAD precursors such as NMN or NR, which are sold under false label claims, but other longevity supplements as well. In fact, just recently, a fellow YouTuber, James Smith, sent a very popular creatine gummy to a lab to have it tested. And again, unfortunately, the test results were just as disappointing. While the label claimed that each creatine gummy contained 1.5 grams of creatine, in actuality, each gummy contained far less. 
Everyone who's ever had a creatine gummy before always seems to think the same thing. How on earth does this taste so good with creatine in it? Usually creatine's rather grainy and powdery. However, despite our suspicions, manufacturers and brands have always reassured us that not only do these supplements have creatine in, but they have the right amount of creatine in for us to get the benefits. But I don't know about you, the very first day that I tried one of these creatine gummies, the first thing I said was, there is no way there is creatine in that. And well, my assumptions, let's see if they're correct. So Overload here is one of the brands that's in the firing line. Now Overload state that each gummy is between three to four grams and that in each gummy of three to four grams, there is 1.5 grams of creatine. So then I thought if I'm gonna make this video and make that level of accusation, I'm gonna to have to send a sealed bag of these creatine gummies to Eurofins to get tested. And well, the results have come back. Where they were supposed to be 1.5 grams, there are 0.0849 grams. Looking at this, we can assume there was once creatine in the whole of China where the factory exists. It's that little. Now, sadly again, <laughs> this is not an isolated incidence. In fact, in 2024, the supplement company now tested 12 different creatine gummy brands. And again, unfortunately, the test results were just as disappointing, with only half of the brands tested actually meeting label claims, resulting in a 46% failure rate. Now, if you live in the United States, like I do, you might wonder, aren't supplements regulated by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration? And yes, they are, to an extent. While the FDA monitors the marketplace for potentially illegal products and can take action against unsafe products or misleading claims, the responsibility for ensuring a product is safe and that label claims are truthful and not misleading rests with the manufacturer or distributor, not the FDA. And sadly, as we just saw, not too many manufacturers or distributors take this responsibility to heart, which is really unfortunate because while we only have about a handful of mice studies and a bit more than a dozen of human studies on NMN and probably about that many on nicotinamide riposide, which by the way, all look quite promising, creatine is actually one of the most extensively studied supplements with over 500 research studies evaluating its varied benefits and many of them showing very promising results. But of course, if one takes what they believe to be a creatine supplement, but said supplement contains very little of what is claimed on the label, the benefits promised in these studies are not going to be felt. So where do we go from here as the consumer? First of all, as always, we have to do our own research. These tests I just shared with you are available online and hopefully there will be many more. But right now we can take a look at these tests and at the very least avoid the companies who did not meet label claim. Then we can take a look at the companies who actually met label claim and research them a bit further. Have they been tested in the past? Are they third party certified? Though, unfortunately, some of the companies who didn't meet label claim claim to be third party certified. So it is not always a reliable certification. Now, we could also do what James Smith did. If we have a longevity supplement we spend a bunch of money on, but aren't quite sure about, we could send a sample to a lab and have it tested. I did look into that, and depending on the substance tested, the test costs between 100 and 200 US dollars. So considering the amount of money some of us spend on certain longevity supplements, it might be money well spent. In my opinion, the safest bet when wanting to purchase longevity supplements, rather than to buy them on Amazon or Tic Tac, is to purchase them from a health research organization such as Chromodex or Donut Age. Because not only do these companies use their own products when conducting their own research, but these are also the companies other scientists and researchers contact when they are looking for a substance for their research. Personally, I use Donut Age, and I have used Donut Age for the last five years with great results. But I have used Chromodex in the past, Chromodex makes Truniagen, which is the NAD booster I first started with. So both of them 
are great. And like I said, these are the companies that use their own products to conduct their own research and other scientists and researchers use their products for their research. So obviously, and they want the best and purest products. So I hope this video was helpful. I would love to know, do you take longevity supplements? If so, which ones? What brands do you use? And what benefits have you noticed? Please share down below. Any questions or comments, please share them down below. You know, always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time. Bye.